Please like and subscribe as all proceeds are donated for the betterment of humanity. I hope that you enjoy part one of the Trans New Jersey Trail, which is a 450 mile trail. It starts at High Point State Park, which is where we begin today. As the first light of day begins to break across the horizon, the world is transformed into a breathtaking canvas of vibrant colors and awe-inspiring beauty. The sky begins to blush with hues of pink and orange, casting a soft glow over everything in sight. As the sun creeps higher into the sky, the world slowly awakens from its slumber. The crisp morning air is filled with the sounds of chirping birds and rustling leaves as the day's first light illuminates the world in a warm and welcoming embrace. The sunrise is a magical moment, a moment of quiet contemplation and breathtaking beauty that reminds us of the boundless potential of each new day. High Point State Park is a breathtaking oasis nestled in the northwest corner of the Garden State. Towering above the lush landscape, the park's namesake, High Point Monument, stands tall at 220 feet, offering panoramic views of three different states, New Jersey, New York, and Pennsylvania. The park has over 50 miles of trails that lead you through pristine forests, tranquil lakes, and babbling brooks. Whether you're hiking, biking, horseback riding, or riding through in your Jeep, there's no shortage of natural beauty to explore. For those seeking a more leisurely experience, the park offers several picnic areas, swimming areas, as well as fishing opportunities. And if you're feeling adventurous, Take a stroll across the park's famous suspension bridge, which stretches across Sawmill Lake and offers an exhilarating experience for all ages. As you leave the pavement behind and hit the dirt, a sense of adventure and excitement fills the air. The familiar hum of the engine is now accompanied by the crunching sounds of rocks and the bouncing of the suspension as you make your way deeper into the wilderness. The trail ahead is a mystery and you can't help but feel a sense of anticipation for what's to come. The natural world unfolds around you as you navigate the twists and turns of the rugged terrain. The smell of fresh pine as well as wild flowers fills your nostrils and the sun shines down through the trees casting dappled light on the forest floor. As we were traversing through the northern section of the Trans New Jersey Trail, we felt the sense of freedom. With each new challenge, you feel a sense of accomplishment. As the trail winds on, you know there's no turning back. The journey ahead may be unpredictable and challenging, but you're ready for anything. The off-road trail is calling and you're ready to answer the challenge with all the passion and excitement that only a true adventurer can muster. I think there are a couple really important things to review while out on the trail. First, it's important to know your Jeep. Second, it's important to choose your line carefully. Third, it's important to utilize the proper tire pressure. And fourth, it's important to bring recovery gear. In regards to knowing your Jeep, it's important to familiarize yourself with its capabilities. It's important to understand its ground clearance, approach, breakover, as well as departure angles. I would also say it's important to familiarize yourself with some of the buttons in regards to navigating the four-wheel drive system, lockers, as well as disconnecting the sway bar. And you got another one right here. Although these are basic trails, when navigating difficult terrain, it's important to choose your line carefully. The best advice I would say is keep your wheels up on the rocks to prevent your undercarriage from dragging and damaging critical components. You can see here the Bronco is having some trouble navigating this obstacle. Not that it needs any recovery in this situation. However, it is a good example of why it is important to bring recovery gear. Even the most experienced off-roaders get stuck from time to time. This recovery gear can encompass a winch, a tow strap, and maybe a high left jack. Bear to the right. Nice and slow. Nice 
Nice and slow. Slow, slow, slow. Yep. Please stay tuned for part two. We do plan on traversing the entire 450 mile Trans New Jersey Trail. We will be doing this in sections and documenting our experience. Please like and subscribe as all proceeds are donated. Again, thanks for watching. Just watch this rock right here.